One thing that every household needs is a real computer. And the reason why is because if you need to get real work done, sometimes an Android tablet or an iPad just may not cut it. But sometimes you might be on a tight budget. Well, a company named Chewy may have the answer for you. Let's talk about it. What's up, everybody? This is Eric the Tech Preacher. So I'm reviewing a mini PC by Chewy. And let me give you my thoughts about it. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So sometimes you need a real computer for light duty that doesn't break the bank. Well, I'm reviewing the HeroBots Pro 2021. It has the new Intel Jasper Lake N4500 processor. Now this one here has eight gigs of RAM of the LPDDR4 RAM. We have 256 gigs of internal storage. We have expansion storage slot for expandable memory. Uh, you got the 11th gen integrated graphics here and the price, the price is $199 with a special price that's going on right now for $179. As of me recording this video, I will leave all links down in the description below. So let's talk about what you get in the box. The Hero Box Pro comes in a all brown recyclable kind of box here, right? It's plain Jane, nothing spectacular. When you open up the box, you're greeted to the unit itself and you have a box on the side. You got instruction manuals and stuff like that. When opening up the box, you're greeted to a 12 volt, two amp power brick and some mounting brackets. So let's go over the mini PC here and let's talk about ports. And oh boy, there's a bunch of them here. So in the front here, you have a power button, micro SD card slot, you have two USB 3.0 ports, you have one USB type C, which is a lot here. We got a lot going on here in the front, but you know what? It's not over with yet. Let's talk about the rear. On the rear, you have a, a reset button, uh, you have a DC port, a VGA port, HDMI port and two USB ports here, but they're only 2.0 ports. You have a LAN port, and lastly, you have a headphone jack. So this mini PC costs $200 and it's stacked with ports. All right, so let's talk about this new Jasper Lake processor here that's in this mini PC. This processor is based off a 10 nanometer process that's clocked at 1.1 gigahertz with a boost up to 2.8 gigahertz, right? It's dual core with two threads, TDP of six watts uh, with a four megabyte L3 cache. Uh, the graphics here is clocked at 350 megahertz with a boost up to 750 megahertz that support 4K up to 60 hertz. So with all that said, this is no high-end gaming computer for all those that may ask. This is not a high-end gaming computer. So at first boot, it's highly recommend that you go to your Windows update and update all your drivers and security patches. Patience is required when doing this because my first boot here, it took maybe an hour, hour and a half to get it all done. So let's talk about the performance. Look, I've ran some performance tests so I can get a general idea of the computer performance because I'm going through the menus and everything and everything is smooth as butter. So here's the results. I got a complete pass mark rating of 918, which is about what this chipset's supposed to be. So the CPU test score was 2224, 2D graphic score was 125, 3D graphic score was 304, memory test scores was 1556, and the disk test score was 4179. So let me put this in perspective. My Mac mini eight gigabyte bottle CPU score was 15,421. So there you go. Let's talk about temperature. When I was using this computer, running benchmark tests and stuff like that, loading web pages and doing a little work here, uh, this computer maintained a temperature with about uh, 35 to 36 Celsius. It's about 95 degrees in Fahrenheit. 
Uh, the fans stay on this uh, computer pretty much the whole time. It's not loud as you can hear, it's on right now and it's not loud at all. Uh, so I was doing some hard tasks with it, but this computer kept up pretty well. But I was able to push two monitors watching 4K video with no slowdown and no stuttering, which is shocking to me. Uh, so doing 4K video on here, watching 4K content was no problem using two monitors. So doing light duty such as web browsing, documentation and stuff like that you won't have no issues look going through the menu system and stuff like that this computer was relatively fast so that's a good thing so here's my conclusion for 199 dollars this is a great mini pc it has a bunch of ports and you could connect everything to it now remember this is no i3 no i5 or no i7 processor so when it comes down to high-end gaming no, I think you can't do any high-end gaming on here. So as far as size, it's look like it's a little hair bigger than the Galaxy Z Fold 3 when it comes down to width and height. So you can mount this and uh, put this in a lot of different scenarios to get work done. I think this is a fantastic layout here. You got your computer, you have a relatively good monitor here, you got a keyboard and you got a mouse to get work done. I think this computer is fantastic for that. This is Eric the Tech Preacher from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the mini PC in all its glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace.